Good day and welcome back to ABZ Today. As many of you know, or you would know if you watched my first ultra lame video that I posted, I recently quit a very crappy job. And I'm furthering my knowledge of things that I really care about now. And among those things is dog training. Well, part of learning more about dog training is learning more about dogs. So part of that growing knowledge base includes learning all about animal behavior, breed distinctions, and loads of other cranial quandaries such as that lar kind of stuff that's going to go in one side and hopefully get all that old crap out of there. We can only hope so, eh? As long as it doesn't knock everything out and then it falls out too and there's nothing else in there, that would be kind of nasty. But that's all right. Then I'd have to get into politics. I thought it would be a good idea at this point to talk about puppy dogs. This guy is Stanley Corrin, a psychology professor and neuropsychological researcher who has become best known to the general public for a series of books he's written about the intelligence, mental abilities, and history of dogs. And you can check them all out for yourself if you're into books. You can do the Kindle version too, probably, if you're into the internet the way I am. I really don't like books. They make me sneeze too much and they're all too much work. Uh, you can check them out for yourself. They are available on Amazon, my favorite place to shop. Well, over the years, he has become popular with dog owners while still continuing his research and instruction in psychology at UBC. That's the University of British Columbia. Nice place, eh? In other words, it's what he does. So, what does Stanley Corn have to say about man's best friend? I'm glad you asked. Well, according to the professor, dogs are about as smart as two-year-old kids. They can comprehend more than 150 words and can count up to four or five, which is impressive and it's actually better than a couple of the employees I had not so long ago um, helped me make the decision to quit. Anyways, dogs, he says, are consciously deceptive and they can trick people into giving them what they want. They're nearly as successful at deceiving humans as humans are at deceiving dogs. Touché. Corin ranked 110 dog breeds on the basis of their intelligence. Of course, we don't have time or the attention span to look at all of them. So, here's the top and the bottom few from that list. The five smartest dog breeds. Number five, Dobermans. And I've got to be honest with you, I didn't think they'd be this high on the list. So hack off my tail and wrap my ears. I just didn't expect it. Number four, Golden Retrievers. Not really a surprise there as far as I'm concerned, and not much to be said. They're nice dogs, and I like them. Number three, my personal favorite, German Shepherds. We all knew they'd be somewhere in the top five, didn't we? Well, I think so. That's why they're such good cops. And in the number two position, poodles. And I didn't see that one coming at all. <laughs> I'm quite surprised by this list. You know why I'm quite surprised by that? I didn't expect uh, poodles to be this high up. Number two, my goodness. When I was a kid, we had a poodle named Flip. He constantly ate his own feces and nearly tore my little brother's nads off. That was just before the day when I came home from school and the dog was nowhere to be seen. Hey, Mom, what happened to the dog? Shut up and eat your meat. If you don't eat your meat, you don't get your pudding. Hey, maybe that's where that song came from, eh? I bet you they had a poodle, too. And number one, the all-round most intelligent dog and star of the movie Babe, you guessed it, Pig. <clears throat> Border Collie. Well, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Honorable mentions go out to the Shetland Sheepdogs at number six and Labrador Retrievers at number seven. Although, technically, that makes two retrievers on the list, so it's kind of cheating. And now, the five dumbest dogs. At 106th on the list, number five... Borzoi. 
Borzoi? I don't even know what a Borzoi is. A ballet? Something Russian, I think. Oh, those! Yeah, okay. Not a greyhound, not a whippet. Can't quite make up its mind what the heck it wants to be. Almost llama-like. I understand why it's on this part of the list. Number four, Chow Chow. Ah, the blue-tongued wonder of the walking meat sack pack. Chow Chow. The dog's so dumb you have to say its name twice. Hey, just look up what chow means in Mandarin. You'll get it when I tell you. I once had a girlfriend who had a chow chow. And believe me, that's all we did. All day long. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but that was a long time ago. Number three, the bulldog. I always picture that bulldogs would sound kind of like a drunk, so this is saloon, you know? Hey, I don't know why I just do it. It's Stella! I don't know why it would sound like that, but that's what a bulldog would sound like to me, anyway. I don't know. At number two, Basenji. Nice name. Sounds like something that would be mating with a Lamborghini, doesn't it? And given half a chance, this genius of a puppy would probably try it. And achieving the 110th spot on an intelligence list of 110, the number one dumbest dog, the Afghan Hound. Of course, Afghan. Just the name tells you everything. Afghan. It's named after that crocheted throw rug everybody's grandma made for the back of your couch, but you hate it, so you never put it out, but you put it out when she's coming over, because you love grandma and you wouldn't hurt grandma's feelings for the world. Come on, we all got one, and we all do it. You know, I guess one of the things that really intrigued me about this whole process of learning this stuff was the fact that kids know about 150 words at two years of age. I didn't know that many words till I was in high school. And unfortunately, most of the words dogs know mean time to lick myself again. Excuse me, I've been going down here, so don't bother me for a few minutes. The van be rocking if you know what I'm talking. Hey, Angel, Angel. Yeah, Angel, if you're so smart, how come you smell each other's butts? Yes, I told them German Shepherds should be number one, but they said they've already written the books and it would cost too much to change it. Sorry, sweet. Hey, in the comments below, why not tell me why your dog is so smart? I'd love to know. Or maybe you own a chow chow or an equally intelligent rubber boot. In the comments below, tell me why your dog is so dumb. Just tell me my dog is so dumb because... Or let him write it. I look forward to hearing from you. Catch me next time right here on ABZ Today where I'll be doing something else totally fun and interesting. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye for now. <laughs>